Aloha from Oahu. Today is June 26th and it's about 2.15 in the afternoon and about 71 degrees. And we're gonna do our Faith Food Devotions by Timothy Hagen. And today's is called 10 Times Better. And the scripture verse is Daniel 1, 18 through 20. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in three years later, the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them 10 times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. And Kenneth Hagin goes on to say, each day I said, God, give me favor with every teacher. Thank you for it. It is mine. Now impart to me because I have the life and nature of God in me, knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom, that I may be 10 times better. Now, I'm not bragging on me. I'm bragging on what God gave me. Because although I had been a D student before my sickness, after being born again and healed, I was the only student in my classes who made a straight A report card. Now that's a testimony. I could take a history book and they tested me on this. Read a chapter I'd never read before, put the book down and recite it word for word. Now I couldn't do that because I had developed my memory. I didn't know a thing in the world about memorization. I was able to do that because I looked to my spirit. Most believers have never developed their spirits as they could have. They have just never really walked in the light of what they've had all the time. So we have a confession today. I'll say it once and then I'll say it again so you can say it out loud with me if you want to. I purpose to develop my spirit. I purpose to walk in the light of life. Well, Father, I just pray for all of us watching this devotional that you'll give us understanding and revelation of how to develop our spirit. You know, the Bible says that we have the mind of Christ. And you know, God knows everything. And he says he's our wonderful counselor. And the Holy Spirit says he's our teacher. So really, anything that we want to know he knows and and we can hear him so I would just uh, uh, try and pray and hear him I remember when I was a very young Christian I would read books and and people there were Christian books and people would say oh God said this to me God said that to me I said God I want to hear you like that and so I asked him to teach me how to hear the Holy Spirit, how to hear his voice. Because the Bible says, my sheep shall hear my voice. So I knew I could. And he began to teach me. And he told me, I'll hear three voices. I'll hear the enemy, I'll hear my own thoughts, and I'll hear the Holy Spirit. And he said, the way you can tell it's the devil is when it makes you feel hopeless and despair and condemnation. And he said, then there's just your own thinking, your own thoughts, and then there's the Holy Spirit. He said, I might convict you, but it always comes with love and hope, and it never comes with hopelessness. And so I began to learn how to hear the Lord's voice. Now I happen to have uh, an anointing or a gift or whatever you wanna call it, of uh, being very prophetic. And so I, I can hear God and I see a lot of visions. I hear and I see a lot of things. I, God gives me a lot of information and uh, I'm thankful for that. 
I've gone through a lot of persecution because of that, because the prophets get um, persecuted. But I still wouldn't trade it for anything to be that in tune with God. It has served me well to know Him and to know His voice and to listen to Him when He tells me something and trust Him that if I do what He tells me to do, I'll always land on my feet. I always come out smelling like a rose, and it's true. I'm 68. I've walked with Him since I was 16. I can tell you that I'm telling you the truth. To hear God, to know Him, to listen to Him, to follow His instructions is an amazing way to live a victorious life in Him. God bless you. Have a beautiful Monday. I know I will. Aloha. Mm.